So hello guys, welcome to part three. So we are looking at types of monitoring visit in cl clinical research and we have seen what is a pre-study visit. We have seen what is the initiation visit and now we are going to see the periodic monitoring visit. So, as I've said that we have seen the pre-study visit, which is also called as site qualification visit or site selection visit. Next, we have seen the initiation visit, which is called as SIV. Here we have evaluated the site. Okay. Here we have received the regulatory approval and the EC approval and the site can begin the recruitment. Now in this stage, the site is recruiting and the trial is in progress. Okay. So the trial is in progress so let's see what does periodic monitoring visit consist of so what is the periodic monitoring visit so the sponsor or the CRO will develop a monitoring plan okay so I have clearly explained what is monitoring you can go and see the first part and once the monitoring plan is developed it clearly defines the frequency and the duration of the periodic monitoring visit okay so in between how much duration and depending upon the data availability how the monitor will visit a particular site and what would be its duration and scope that is clearly defined in the monitoring plan the focus of periodic monitoring visit is to evaluate the way the study is conducted and to perform source document verification okay which is also called as sdv okay so the monitor evaluates how the trial is being conducted and he verifies the source so who does that so it is does, done by a monitor which is called as clinical research associate okay so he is uh, also called a study monitor or the trial monitor he is responsible for monitoring the trial the assessment he is responsible on supervision of the study activities and also uh, he guides the entire trial documentation and looks uh, towards the operation okay so that is the function of a cra essentially so why are this periodic monitoring visit required first of all to oversee the progress of the clinical trial okay if the trial is being conducted according to the protocol next is he reviews and audits the protocol compliance so that we can know that the trial is being operated with certain integrity and according to the sponsor requirement okay next is the uh, it is source data review source data verification and data cleaning if there are any uh, queries or discrepancies the CRA discusses with the site and get this uh, issues resolved okay finally uh, there would be a review on the safety and the medical events which are which would be AD uh, A and if there are properly uh, reported as per the source data okay so that is also a critical aspect of safety okay one of the critical aspects and uh, there is a regular oversight ensuring that the site is in compliance of the SOP GCP and appropriate protocol okay so this is a bigger chunk of the trial and that is why periodically you have to uh, conduct the monitoring visit or the MV okay so what are the fundamentals of periodic monitoring visit first of all uh, to conduct a monitoring visit you have to identify a quiet place for the monitor to work because he needs to focus on the source documentation and get a clear idea that how a particular trial is being conducted what is the documentation that is why you require a very quiet uh, room where there is no disturbances of the machine phone water fountain or restroom so that he can uh, have a very uh, competent review of the source data next is there is a requirement of all the necessary case report form so that there is a uh, source data and it is complete okay complete source data is required because there would be no use of going for monitoring without complete data next is there should be a confirmation on all the essays forms that have been submitted and are available for the review because no matter how the site uh, sends you the essay reporting the data which is present in the source has to be uh, again reviewed and thoroughly known that is appropriate to the safety standards of the regulatory authority and the EC 
next would be in, uh, obtaining all the medical records and the crfs because you have to review the source and monitor is the only person who from the sponsor side can exactly uh, see the identity of the subject in order to clearly uh, mark that this particular subject is a legitimate subject and is recruited in the trial in a legitimate manner that is why the medical records including all the uh, test record and the crf is reviewed by the cra okay and how the organization of the study file is it should be according to a particular format it shouldn't be that visit 5 comes before visit 1 okay so it has to be in a sequential manner and it has to be in an organized manner next part of the uh, periodic monitoring visit would be to confirm that there is signed consent form for all enrolled participant because if there is no consenting and there are source present then it means that the subject uh, is not fundamentally part of the clinical trial okay so consent form should be duly signed by the subjects and then only the enrollment has begun so the cra has to confirm that next thing would be uh, so if the monitor requires to see that uh, how is the ip stored then he needs to schedule uh, appointment so that he can visit the pharmacy and review the uh, ip if required that would be essentially uh, during the unblinded visit unblinded monitor okay next would be uh, we have to essentially plan with the study coordinator that when are the monitoring days available and how can we move okay towards the end of the visit and uh, once we have all our documentation reviewed source data reviewed then we meet the study coordinators and we review the findings and we get a clarification after clarification you go to the resolution after the all the issues are resolved clarified and uh, there are issues still needs to be discussed then you schedule a time during the monitoring visit you meet the study investigator uh, towards the end of the visit and you review finding against and you inform the PI okay in this case you inform the CRC in this case you inform the uh, PI and you clearly explain how the trial is being conducted what is your evaluation what are your issues and how are the finding needs to be handled so what are the activities that will be completed by the monitor obviously source data verification reconciliation of the data with active review okay Next would be to ensure that the investigator study file or the ISF and applicable uh, logs like uh, monitoring visit log, temperature log, etc. are in a complete manner. Then you review if all the uh, documents are properly documented such as informed consent because it is one of the critical documents. You also uh, review please excuse of uh, all the applicable safety events if the A's and SA's are properly uh, documented and the source data is in an appropriate manner also you discuss on the monitoring queries as I've clearly said how the trial is conducted if there is a discrepancy the pendency of the data entry or the completion of the data entry and what are the challenges okay next would be uh, the monitor after doing all this activity once he returns he will prepare a monitoring visit report okay and this uh, prepared report clearly explain the documentation activities conducted the observations during the visit the open action items and uh, clearly define the timelines and what the follow-up is going to be so that is the responsibilities of a site monitor or a cra during a monitoring visit so during the conduct of the trial there are several monitoring visit okay which um, may range from 10 to 20 visits and uh, based on the uh, pmv or the monitoring visit conducted uh, by the cro the mv report is uh, again shared to the sponsor each and every report okay and uh, post the report sharing the sponsor clearly gets the update on the source data verification how it is going what are the safety events reported i mean if they are reported in an appropriate manner uh, what are the monitoring observations and it helps them to evaluate okay how the trial is being conducted and how the study site uh, is responding to the clinical trial okay the next step uh, would be once all the monitoring visit are conducted then all the data is clean and once that happens then you say that the particular trial is over and you carry out the next step which would be the close out visit okay 
so please note after all the data is completed all the recruitment is completed all the data is entered or the data is uh, sdv'd or validated then only we ensure that the trial is over and we have to conduct the close out visit okay during this visit all the data is ensured that all the data is reviewed and it is validated okay so in part 4 of this series we are going to see what is a close out visit okay and how uh, it should be conducted okay stay tuned uh, for that part 4 and make sure you like uh, and share with all the potential CRAs who could benefit from this. So if you are someone who is looking for a job in clinical research, who is looking to make a career in clinical research, then uh, look no further. Our friends at Clinical AIM Research are doing an excellent job by offering a 3 months advanced certification in clinical research with uh, the fundamentals of clinical data management and pharmacovigilance. So even if you don't know anything about clinical research, they will teach you about everything and they will also prepare you for the interview, which was the purpose of this video. So you have to not only learn the concept, but be prepared for the interview. So please go ahead and contact uh, on the given number and uh, you can enroll yourself in this excellent and amazing course. So have a look at it. And finally, if you like this uh, video, please make sure that you subscribe, uh, like and share this video so that we can ensure that proper clinical trial knowledge is being transmitted to all the interested parties and we can stay updated. So we are Clinical Aim Research and thank you.